Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh, since last episode, I did something a little crazy. First of all, um, I decided I was going to start burning that graphite at our new power plant because we were having backup issues and obviously lots of problems. And then I noticed we had graphite issues happening over here as well. So I thought, okay, we need to also deal with that, unfortunately, for the future or we're going to have a lot of problems. So I went ahead and took care of that. Wait, is this actually going somewhere? I can follow this. Do, 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 do. Something's going up on here, so I gotta figure out what's why it's backwards. Maybe I did that on purpose. Where do you go to, anyways? Oh, you go to these guys. Ah, so you guys haven't been having your uh, little rockets here. I guess we can fix that. I guess at one point I had swapped that. See, that's the little fun stuff. You get to go around and, you know, you're like, oh, that's a weird thing. What's that? And then realize, you know, something derped up at one point. So I obviously had fixed something here, whatever, and then uh, forgot to put it back. So there you go. Uh, but anyways, so I wasn't having uh, this running, basically. I wasn't doing the x-ray stuff here. And uh, uh, basically, uh, I was running out of helium. And then I had all my helium going and making the fuel here as well. But because I'm making the fuel at the other place, I decided I'll just cap it. I just capped it to zero and just said storage. Uh, but basically, it was starting to get a bit of a mess, honestly. So uh, I went ahead and fixed that. And then my graphite was backing up. So this graphite that comes from this, remember this produces graphite? Well, this was all backing up too. And then the storages were backing up. So I decided to put this guy in here. And so he has... Uh, graphite himself now I don't even know I, I don't even remember putting these maxes in there I must have but I just don't remember that but that's fine I don't need a lot in there anyways of those two so that's great uh, and then yeah the graphite here is now being shipped and so it gets sent all the way to our power plant basically our new power plant uh, I'm gonna call it our new power plant because it's pretty big um, because yeah that's a hundred and forty of them and because these are empty that's a good thing I'm just gonna say that right now um, the more they're empty, the better, because it means that we're not having graphite backing up. And as you saw back there, the graphite is slowly uh, dissipating as well. So that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, I don't want a bunch of graphite, obviously. So that is the goal anyway. So uh, yeah, basically this is my graphite power plant. And you can see my total power, 432 megawatts right now. We're a little crazy, and it was just, this is literally just to burn off the graphite for now. I'm sure I could probably find other uses later on, but for now it seems to be basically the best way to handle it. Uh, I also worked on my plastic a bit. I have plastic being now uh, supplied into this tower here. This just was added, and I added this row here basically. So I added these four guys into my plastic, where plastic used to just be the three guys. Uh, now uh, it's these guys here. So uh, yeah, that should help. And then you got your uh, your oil products coming in here, which I mean they come in at a certain speed, obviously. Uh, I think at my this point my biggest problem is actually this belt. So let's actually fix this belt. There you go. Let's put a faster belt in there. There we go. This will help a bit. It looks like it gets used. Oh yeah, mostly just in the one anyway, so that's fine. Um, I can fix that later if I want to speed it up even more. But anyways, there you go. That'll help a bit. So, um, and there's a buffer there, obviously, and then this will slow down eventually, but then I'll probably have enough plastic anyway stored, so it'll all back up a bit, so that's great. Uh, plastic's going to be one of those things we're going to need anyways later today, I believe. So, uh, looking at uh, our further recipes here that I want to work on, I want to work on... Doo -doo 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 -doo. First, I want to work on the one... Here it is, the fiber. So this guy here, we've looked into this, we were making it. Um, so we're making these guys right here. Uh, right here, sorry. And uh, I would like to make it that way, but we don't have that material. And we're making those guys out of the stuff that we bring. There you go. So, and then we have plastic. So if I can get all those going, that'll be pretty cool, so. This is our main space one, so we gotta go further over here. It's awesome when you gotta fly like, ooh, it's like, oop, wrong way. Oh yeah, it was the meshing for these guys that was a lot easier, that's what we were doing. Okay, so, um, these guys are pretty much full too, so I'm gonna have to start up another thing over here somewhere. So there's those guys, there's those guys, and then this guy could be my next one. Yeah, that should be good. 
So, I'll just put it over here so it's on its own kind of thing. There you go. And then we'll say this is plastic. Oh, you know what I'm out of? Yeah, I'm actually out of. Can you believe this? I'm out of drones. Uh, I've been putting them in more often, so that's just... Oh, crap. I don't want to make those... We'll go grab some, which sucks because they're not these ones. These are the uh, space ones, and our drones are over here. Or the, sorry, the, the thrusters. Those are the reinforced thrusters. These are the regular thrusters over here, weren't they? Now here's the, the, the thing. Find them. Oh, here they are. There you go. Regular thrusters. There we go. That'll be a little easier. There you go. We'll grab some more iron on our way. By the way, I can stay floating and it'll stay charged up more than enough that you don't have to worry about it, so... I, I never have to basically charge this up either, which is beyond amazing, to be fair. Okay, there we have it. So we'll get uh, 10 drones put in this puppy here. There you go, there's 10... Oh, no! Actually... Oh, you only take a max of 10. I didn't realize that, but the big, big, big ones, I guess they take a max of, what, 50 or 100 or something? Oh, uh, I guess probably 50, uh, 50, I guess, right? Actually, it would be probably 50, because... Yeah, max of 50. Because they only stack in 50s anyway, so... Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll power you. Very good. And then we're going to have our resource, so we're going to have plastic coming from this one. So let's go for plastic here. Um, here we go. And we're going to demand it, and then there you go. The drones are going to start coming, so you'll come and get them, and you'll have the ones come in and grab them as well. Cool. So we got our plastic, we got the mesh stuff, and yeah, we're good. Oh, by the way, they added a light on and off option. I'll leave it on, because it probably helps a wee bit for the videos. You can actually see it kind of gives a better glow to things around, so it makes it a little less darker. So it does help, actually. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we got to place these guys. I'm guessing they're all in this thing. Let's just double check here. So... Sorry, I'm just looking for them. Ah, oh, here they are. So there you go. So two, two, and one. I'm glad actually those aren't too expensive for the plastic part. That'll be nicer. Okay, so our plastic will come through here somewhere. And then you'll get these guys to come over. Okay, that should work. So yeah, oh yeah, we want to be down here. We're just going to get screwed over by the grid. We'll put it right here. One, two, three, four, five. What's the time on these? Eight seconds. Wow. Okay, we'll just go a little crazy on these for fun. We'll do ten of them. <laughs> okay, and then uh, we'll have you come in over here. Actually, which one uses the most? Actually, they were pretty fair. And it, it, for that timer, I don't have to worry. Worry eight seconds. And these are the seven zero point seven fives too. Okay, so we got a tab there. Okay. So here's our plastic. Okay. And then we'll have you coming over here. We'll have you going over here. And then we'll have you, my friend, coming from here. go right to here okay we should be pretty good here so let's go ahead and I wonder how slow this is gonna be 0 0.5 a trip yeah but for how long it takes uh, it'll be uh, oddly enough more than enough so that eight second crafting time basically uh, yeah, not so bad. There you go. And this is going to have to be extended just by one over here. Okay. 
content. Oh no! This one is in an appropriate spot. Okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. And then these guys will come all the way over here. And then we'll put them in their own little storage over here. And then I guess now the tower's nearby, we can also throw it in there for uh, later usage if we want. Or when we need it, I should say. There we go. It's a little farther distance. I'll put two of them in there for fun. Okay, so, uh, and then, yeah, we need to set these guys up here. Okay, and then we just need to set you guys up here. So you over here. that but I didn't ah did the belt instead there you go it must be a pain in my butt okay oh yeah you need some power here there you go is this power by the way yeah we did power that and then we just need these guys over here turned on see I could have used the other stuff but it's fun to do that okay and then uh, yeah let's get this all powered up then I guess There you go. And then they'll do their very, very long processing. But guess what? That's another material we're done with. So we don't have to worry about it. Uh, so I went and visited, uh, oh, yes, the uh, Mars place. And I set up some uh, iron and more titanium, I'm pretty sure I set up. Uh, but, oh, and copper, I think, as well for fun. Uh, just so we have them up there and... If I start getting low on resources, I can ship them in. Um, that being said, there's not a lot of iron in the system to begin with. So one of the f first things I might need to worry about once I start going to other systems is actually bringing iron in. So uh, we have... Is that for the full system? Yeah, we have only 3.8 mil for the iron. 20 mil for the copper. But obviously the... Uh, that's the lowest one we have, so that's fine. And then uh, I do have... Did we do them together? I'm not sure if we did them together or if I did it. Um, I added two more of these guys over here. I should show you that, I guess. I'll have to look for them, but uh, equator, right? So that might be annoying to find. There you go. I guess you're just gonna have to fly around here and look for it. Oh, okay, we'll do it that way, I guess. You can't even tell if I'm flying around it, to be honest. Feel like I was around the equator, but I can't really tell anymore. <laughs> Who knows now? But anyways, this guy's a big ball of uh, you know. Uh, I guess I could just do this instead um, because we're here, right? We can just click it instead and do this. There they are. So I added two more of these guys here, so they're they're helping up bring more uh, those guys in. So that's awesome, actually. There they are. There you go. You can click them from here, I guess. There you go. So yeah, they have uh, lots in the storage now. You know, I've been ignoring the heal, uh, the yeah, hydrogen. Sorry, uh, but obviously it's there if we ever needed it. So that's kind of cool. What I might do later on is actually expand that. So set up like what we have now to create the hydrogen and uh, just create a whole separate one for that. So uh, we have the, the whole fracking or whatever, the fraconator or whatever it was called. Um, so I might set up another one of those later on, but uh, I'm fine with what we have right now. But these guys here, remember these guys? So these guys spin around and they're slowly creating the deuterium. I might create a larger version. Actually, you know what we have that's ridiculous? Um, we might be able to do the collider, actually. 
Where is that collider? I didn't even think about that because, you know, I heard it uses a lot of power, but we have too much power. Yeah, here it is. Mini oh, we don't even have this yet. We need this recipe. Frame material. I've never even bothered uh, doing the automation on that, so maybe I should do that now, actually. Uh, frame material. So we need... Uh, we have everything here. It's just we need to set it up. So I have the glass coming in over here, don't I, anyways? Or the... Yeah, that kind. So I got that. I don't have the, the, the one metal. No, I don't. But I have the mesh coming over here as well. So what I could do... Um, so there's the one I need. So there's one. And then, of course, the mesh is two. And so all I need is this here to come in. Sorry, components and these guys. So if I can get some of those in, demand, that will fill in that gap. Oops, that was a mistake on my part. See, this is this is what happens off camera. Like I'll find this usually off camera, and then you guys will probably be screaming at your monitor like before, like, ah, like, why the hell didn't you do this? And then it'll be fixed next time, and you'll think, oh, okay. But that's the thing. I just I do these boo boos off camera, and it's like, oh, I'm an idiot sometimes. But that's that's me. You're dealing with me, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll build these guys here. I guess uh, let's go ahead and just build it right here. And we are going to be building. This is awesome, though. We're getting all these components and stuff made up. I don't even have this made up. I could probably set that up soon. Uh, but this one here. There you go. Hopefully that's not too much in the way. Um, so you're going to have those guys coming out. We should be fine, except... Uh, actually, no, I think we might be good. Okay. I probably not sh shouldn't go too close to the oil. Um, oh, I probably should leave some gap in there. Actually, you know what? If I end up pumping these out, which probably I will eventually, um, I should do this, this, and this. And I'm going to actually say I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to do a supply on those, and they can store in there as well. Because I'm, I'm sure eventually I'll use those. And I'm just thinking, let's just do it now, and then that way it's in there. And also, um, I don't accidentally take that spot now that I was going to do, so. There you go. We somehow built this in a perfect spot. Yeah. I like those little robots, they do so well. We still get to upgrade them even more. Okay, so you got those guys, and then we need uh, our little glass. Oh crap, where is our glass coming from? Oh, it comes from up that one. So we're going to have to be a little annoying with that, or... That's not glass, that's those ones. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to bring uh, that stuff in. It's not called glass. Sorry, what is it called? High purity uh, silicon. So we're going to have to bring that in from over here. That's fine. We can do it So through here. It's not actually a hard one at all. Let's do the outer. Actually, let's do a middle one. That way it's... If I just need to get something from another one later on, I'm just thinking that might help out a bit. Okay, so we'll go to here. We'll lift it up. And then let's just keep it up in the air because we're going to have to go to a couple places anyways. Oh, it's hitting that building. Yeah, a lot of your issues are not usually because, you know, the pathfinding is being dumb. I've learned that it's just for the fact that... Uh, actually, let's fix that up. Um, the reason I say let's fix it up is because... But we have another material to come in here, so there you go. Uh, but it's not because of the pathfinding is being dumb. It's because of... Oh, look at that. We're out of belts. Um, it's because of you're hitting a building, so you're actually colliding into something. And obviously that causes you issues and all the fun stuff, so... Okay. Bring you over here. 
This is pretty slow too, right? And it only needed, what, one of each of those? It needs the, a lot of the mesh though, so we'll put a faster one for the mesh. Okay. So one every four seconds. That's uh, pretty slow, so as long as you get there, we're good. 0 0.5, yeah. Okay, and then we just have to go and get our meshing here. So let's actually remove you. Not right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, we're going right here. There we go. this we needed a bit more so we'll definitely do the faster one what is this 1.5 per second and you need to, yeah oh yeah that's more than enough because you just need it needs four so you need a, a one per second right so uh for the four second i think it was to craft or six seconds actually i think it might have been six seconds so actually that's more than enough okay give you the faster one here I don't know why I put another one. For fun. Funzy. Okay, there we go. And uh, then we can just throw these guys all into a belt. The only downside is these are all full now. And yeah, I'm bringing all that in. So if you want to ship this somewhere, you're going to have to build another thing for shipping. But that's fine. And which way do I want to go? Um, Probably, it doesn't really matter. I'll go this way. There we have it. Okay. That should work. Nice, and then we'll put those in a storage container and we're good. We can get rid of this guy here. And yeah, there we go. And power that. Awesome, okay, so there we go. Now we're making those guys, which is awesome. Okay, look, give me a minute here. Okay, so let's move on here. So we got those being made, which is great. Um, what was that for? Oh yeah, the collider. We were looking into making the collider. Now apparently the collider uses a lot of energy, which, you know what, that's actually fun. I like things that do use a lot of energy, especially us, because we have the ability. So, um, where was that a collider again? I always lose it in here. Where were you? Oh, here it is. See, when you, when you look at the collider, you think of a different looking building, I think, or at least in my head I do, so that's why I always have issues finding it. Um, which one of these have the these guys? Here you go. So you can right click this and then you can grab whatever you need here. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's an easy way of putting a number. I've never tried typing a number, obviously, but that's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and get her. Oh, see? Losing it again. Let's not, let's I'll hover. There it is. It's right there. Now we know what we're looking for. So I'm not sure how amazing this collider is, obviously. I just know it exists and... It might be worth trying out. Might be even time to build another one of these guys rather than uh, be sharing it just for the fact that uh, with all that helium it'd be grabbing all the time. Yeah, I probably would grab a whole new one for that. Don't share the same one. Maybe even have it in its own little location to be honest. Like right over here. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Actually... If it doesn't matter right now, and you're going to turn this into whatever, maybe we should do it further away. What else did we need for deuterium over time? Oh, those were a pain in the ass, weren't they? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, I want to see that how this works anyways for fun. So, where did you go? Oh, great. It went into the abyss of my inventory. There we go. I wanted to see what this looks like. Oh, that looks kind of cool. So they must spin inside of that. 
Okay, and oh, this is how you make these guys too. Oh, which you need the deuterium as well. Ah, oh, I do need these guys automated actually. Ta da da! So that wouldn't be a bad idea actually. You need the mouth job for those too. Okay, where are those mouth guys, anyways? They're over here. Okay. Maybe I should just build another one of these, like, nearby. There's probably a... I don't know, maybe there isn't much of a restriction. I'd say there was probably a restriction on where they can be, but... Uh, there you go. I like the idea of having it like a spaceport more idea, so if I build, like, a few of these in one spot, I think that'd be kind of cool. Plus, they're very distracting, so having them in the one spot is probably, for me, mentally more okay. <laughs> and then we can give this 10 ships, which is great. And then we can give it, uh, I would like to give it 50 drones, actually, because this is your main, this is your main whatever, right? Your main hub, I guess you can say. So uh, having uh, 50 of those are great. So this one, we can actually say, we like you to produce, oh, um, we're going to say helium, or sorry, hydrogen. I don't know why I've been going and saying helium lately. I just like to say whatever random name, I guess. There it is. And then I'd like you to do remote demand. And then I like to do iron in this one as well. And we'll do remote demand. There you go. So these are going to fly out. These guys probably already sent all their ships out yet. The little ships are all sent out into space now. I guess it'll be kind of cool looking because it'll be all going to the gas giant. Where's that gas giant of ours? Oh crap, it's that one. The gas giant's like the biggest thing around here and yet yeah, I can't find it at all. There it is. Oh, here they are. Boom, boom, boom. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. And here they coming. Okay. And they're landing in. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's going to work out well. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. And then we'll do our uh, little collider stuff. Let's, uh, I don't need this. Oh, that's pretty good crude oil, though, but let's hide it for now. Um, boom, boom. Yeah, doesn't mean I won't use it. I wish, well, I like the icon there. It'd be nice if there was a three-tier icon or a two-tier icon so you can turn it off, turn it on, or turn it on, like, where you see the ones that you want to see but not the ones you don't want to see. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, so we got that up and running, and uh, let's go ahead, and we'll pump this out. We'll use a face belt, and uh, we'll start, uh, we'll just start over here, I guess, out of the way, maybe. Oh, it's one of those spots. Okay, here you go. Did we pick the right one? I thought I did, but I might have not tabbed. Apparently I didn't tab. There you go. And then let's try this collider for fun. I'm excited about this collider. Wait, did I place it and leave it there? I didn't think so, but... Oh. Okay. We'll just do it over here. And uh, I don't think you can insert these directly. No. It's too bad. It would be kind of cool. Maybe this thing doesn't even go that fast. Maybe I'll need like 10 of them to be fair, but let's see here. Uh, oh, it takes five seconds? Oh, that's actually kind of taxing, but whatever. Um, so you do, yeah, that's going to be even more than enough for it, sadly. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little bit more faster, honestly. I guess you're going to want more than one of these then. But uh, apparently they use a lot of energy from what I've heard, so. Wow, 12 megawatts of power. That is actually really cool. I definitely want another one of those. A 12 megawatts? Who wouldn't want another one of these? Actually, I'm going to need another one anyways for the uh, other thing here. So let's make another one of those. And let's grab more of these guys over here. Um, sorry. Oh, wow, that's a lot. I didn't mean to grab that many. Let's put those back. And there you go. And I'm going to need more of these guys. Thank you. There you go. So 
we'll get two of these going then. So one here and one right here. I had this, you know, I thought this was going to be extremely like, oh, you know, you're going to need the best belts, the best everything, you know, obviously I didn't expect it to be this uh, simple, but whatever. So you're keeping up, obviously. And this can go over here. We'll give it some storage here. And uh, I guess we should give you guys a uh, few move offer each. There you go. There you go. But well, it actually doesn't reach anywhere, huh? Wow, we ran out of power lines. I guess when we eat them like candy, if that happens. There you go. Yeah, so at least now we're we're producing lots of deuterium, and we're getting it from our space either space, right? So at least we're we're putting a uh, like a use to it, basically, which is good. Interesting, it actually over buffered. <laughs> Didn't even think that was the thing. It could be cool if you could set it up to like a threshold and stuff, but that might be a little too complicated for most people anyways. I forgot that's eating a lot of power, but I mean, we have lots of power, so it doesn't really matter. These guys are fun though, man. So much power, 12 megawatts each, huh? That is so cool. Okay, and then we could set up another one of these, I guess, for fun, uh, whenever you want to. And uh, yeah, wherever, whenever. Just seeing how I want to do this. And then you can turn it into those Fleshlight looking guys, if you choose to. So, if we go ahead and you turn it into these guys, because you're going to need these guys eventually, anyways. So, you're going to need that. You're going to need iron. The good news is I can bring iron in anytime. And I wonder if. I already am bringing iron this way. Okay. So, I'm actually wondering. I might redo this, actually. Yeah, you know me. I've decided I want to do something different now. There you go. It's just a little closer and then I can use it a bit better. Do, 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 do. There you go. So this obviously, the other one was doing like on average like 45 or something silly. So on average this is obviously going to do a lot more for the deuterium. So yeah, 66, let's see, over the hour, yeah, it was like 40, yeah, I think that was basically the idea. Well, it would have been shut off for a while. But basically on the average it was like this and this will be the new average. So like if you look even the last minute, you know, obviously it's cranked up like a ridiculous amount. So. So we're basically doing, yeah, I guess, yeah. Might be not too accurate because of the fluctuations. If that drops down there, it'll go down a bit or up and down, you know. But 120 plus or so. So basically we like doubled it. Basically our setup, one of these is, you know, basically that entire setup we have over here. That being said, this setup is much, much cheaper. Probably not as efficient for performance. I mean, look at the belts we're using and everything. But it is a fun one. And I mean, it's like not even using. I mean, yeah, it's a lot less power, obviously. And it's it's probably scalable to a degree, too, which is fun. Um, I might still make another setup like that later, just because it is a fun one, honestly. That that feels like more of a real pol uh, particle collider than what we're doing here, because, I mean, it goes in a circle-like one almost, you know what I mean? So it gives you that kind of feeling of, oh, that is actually really cool, you know? Okay, so we got you guys done. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up you. Um, doesn't matter where we set it up, but I was just going to set it up over here, I guess. Um, you know what? Let's... Uh do, 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 do. Oh crap, I meant to do the hidden one. Yeah, now these are... I've been doing this more because I, I haven't been doing the hidden before. I didn't really pay attention or realize that originally. And so, yeah. I wasn't planning to cover it all anyways. I was just doing this so I can fix the terrain and that was it. Okay, there you go. Um, so let's put you here. Go from here to here. 
And so this one is going to be for these guys, because why not? And then I'll have the iron coming up here. And then I need the jaw mouth dudes up here as well. So they're being produced. Where are they? Oh, they're actually so close. I will just run them here, actually. Yeah, cool. And then you'll have your iron, which is good, because that was kind of the idea of eventually running through the iron anyways coming up here. So now we can just run it here, and uh, we get what we need here. So there's the iron. Awesome. Unfortunately, this is going to derp up here. Oh, it's not too bad. There you go. What's the ratios on this? Uh, two iron. Oh, wow, ten of those guys. Well, I guess we have those for the front belts anyways. But even that timeline, uh, you know, you can do it with the slow one, I guess. But whatever, we'll give it the fast one. Okay, and we'll give you this one. Cool. And then we just need the uh, mouth guys, basically. So we can power this up here. And then the mouse guys over here. We'll just jump over here and get those guys. Now, if you want, you can put them in your international flight there if you need them. Uh, I don't think I need them right away, but I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And then we're going to hit up. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll go. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it does that because it, it joined on there. I like Even though you lifted it up on there because you touched the other belt. It just assume you wanted to, you know, there you go. I think we got that one. There you go. Yeah, you just got to be careful when that happens. Bring you down here. That's a bit weird. I was trying to bring it down, but it doesn't want to go down. Well, there you go. There we have it. And then we can bring you over here. There you go. We just gotta finish that, I guess. Oh no, we didn't add a thing. There you go. Yeah, those bots are pretty quick, so they're they're really nice for that. You're getting lots of power over there. Awesome. Okay. We've done awesome in this episode. We've been able to get a lot of those components just done and over with. Now we don't have to really worry about them, which uh, well, I think that's awesome. <laughs> And I'm just going to do the one. I don't think we need to have like 10 of them done here or anything like that. I think this is great. Um, here we go. And then I don't know why we're using super fast stuff here. It's just a bad habit, basically. It's not like you, you can't afford it either, right? It's more like the automation. I really should set up the automation. I keep saying I'll do that eventually off camera or whatever. i just been a little lazy, obviously, so... Uh, we didn't set up one of these. Oh, here we go. We haven't set you guys up, which we need to. There you go. And there we go. So we got the super mouth job, guys, done. How awesome is that? Oh, that's cool. Why does this look cooler than those guys? I don't know. So they all have the same sound effect, I guess? I didn't really pay attention to the, the the power stuff there. And there we go. We got these guys done. Awesome. Okay, let's see what's on our list. How's our power grid? I mean, our power grid should be more than fine, but it's going to fluctuate. Uh, the biggest reason for fluctuation is literally this should be always max. So this should be fine, right? Because this is getting the, you know, that fuel, the hydrogen, right? The, the place that's going to always uh, basically do its thing here is this one over here. And that's because these guys only fill up when it has uh, the stuff to fill it. So these will go up and down all the time, which is fine. I'm happy for this. This is literally not even meant to be my power generation. This is literally supposed to be my trash can. <laughs> so this is this is literally my trash can basically and that's what it costs for a trash can in this game so
which is cool. Um, you know, you got like the awesome sync and stuff like that in Satisfactory. And there's a way to burn off stuff that, you know, the access stuff. Now, in Satisfactory, you don't really have that much of an issue. You know, there's ratios and things like that. But um, actually, yeah, there is. The oil production is the probably the same issue, and which is kind of the same issue in this game where you start producing trash. There are ways around it, but you would also have to burn it. In Satisfactory, though, it's a little harder because your, your, your generators basically don't run, you know, like your coal generator doesn't always run only for your satisfaction needs and all that stuff, right? Your power demands. So basically what would end up happening is similar. If they added that feature like in this game where those generators only run when they need power, then they need to add some sort of tiering system where I can say, okay, this set of generators go on before this set goes on because what will end up happening is the well, same thing basically now, but now we can't trash it, so. Uh, and then we'd have to find another use of, you know, using up our graphite and storage and crying or, or literally I have a planet storage where it's like literally a billion resources sitting on the planet. So anyways, that is done. Um, so now what we can do is honestly work on purple. There you go. This is this is something, you know, I wanted to work on and uh, we have that ability now. So. Um, I'm thinking we can do it over here potentially because we got the uh, yellow here. It can just follow the same idea. So I need the CPUs. So the CPUs, well, let's see where the CPUs and everything is first, actually. Maybe that's better to do it near there. So there's your CPUs. And then the fiber cable is actually over here. So it would make sense to do it over here somewhere. I think I would actually ship these out then, potentially. Um, these are all full, aren't they? <laughs> Already shipping out the fiber cables, to be fair. I am not shipping out CPUs, unfortunately, though. Wait, am I storing iron in there? Oh, no, I'm bringing iron in. Derp, 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 yeah. Uh, so there's your CPUs. That's the only thing I'm not actually kind of shipping out, unfortunately. So what I could do is just build another one of these I guess and this could be for the CPUs and then I can bring it to where I want really so that might not be a bad idea okay really they seem to have roughly the same distance uh, than the big ones oh no maybe they're a little more spaced out on the bigger ones but yeah interesting okay and this is going to be the CPUs in here. This way I can just ship these out, right? So, um, oh, by the way, I did not add those drones into my new uh, setup. Obviously, I had drones in all the other buildings, so it kept up, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that was meant to keep going. So we're going to put CPU in you. Sounds so dirty when I say it that way. You're going to supply it. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put 10 drones into you. So that's what we do. There you go. So 10 drones into you. We're going to go ahead and craft another 10 drones. Actually, more than that. I'm going to need more. There you go. So 10 and 10. So we'll put those in the other guy. Okay. And let's get those CPUs over here delivered. Okay. So um, since all the inputs and outputs are full on this, we'll do it over here so we can... I don't want to use this side in case if I need to pull something out of there later on, so. Okay, yeah, you got that one, and then we can lift it over here at one point. There we go. Is one of these lifted? Oh, no, you're just, uh, it's because of the way we're clicking it. You're going to have to find a better way. There we go. And no, I want it right where I said I want it. So I wonder how that works. There you go. And then we'll put you here, my friend. There you go. Awesome. Okay, so that deals with that. And uh, you got your 10 drones. Perfect. And then our new big thing here, we need to fix that up because I want this to be getting your 50 drones in there. Oh, so I can put 60 drones in there? Oh, no, 50 is the max. Okay, sorry. Could have been like, hey, I was putting... So you can actually stack 100 drones, I guess, into your inventory. Okay, so if this is right, I don't know where the other ones are coming from. We saw them over there. So we need the CPUs, right? 
So we just did that, and then I guess we were always doing the fiber already? I, I didn't even remember putting the fiber like that. I mean, obviously... Wait, did we? Oh yeah, right here. There's your fiber storage. Okay, so we were. Okay. I don't remember actually doing that. That's, you know, derpy me, kind of, obviously. And there we go. So we can bring this somewhere over here and start the production of this. So same idea. I haven't done research in a million years, which is exciting just because I have not done research in a million years. Now here's the problem here. I'm going to have to bring it on this side, not the other side, because uh, we're running low on space, obviously, so that's fine. Um, so how do I want to do this over here anyways? Uh, do I just go right over the water? Probably just right over the water. Same idea, same silliness. I could even do it over here for fun. I might even consider doing this. What is this used for anyway? Is this graphite? Oh, extra graphite, I guess. That's fine. Is that or hide the, the node? Okay, let's just build it over here then. So we have no science labs. Well, that kind of makes sense. I haven't even used science labs in a very long time, so. So here's 10. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, well, that's exactly what we need. We're just using 10 at a time anyway, so. We'll go here, and uh, yeah, let's just build it there. So one, two, three, four, five. And the only downside is I should have changed this to purple. There you go. I'll just do the copy and paste on that. There you go. Awesome. And then let's get our little hub up over here. I love this game. I'm having so much fun. I have to tell you. Electro, if for some reason you got to this episode, you're awesome. Um, <laughs> he got me this game, and uh, now I'm addicted to it. Oh, actually, maybe I should call him an asshole for that. Electro, you're an asshole for our, uh, you know, our, our play there, you know. But, uh, no, I'm having so much fun. I need to go and bring my gears here. I have to do that. That needs to be a task and do off camera. Start working on those guys. Okay, you're gonna bring. Oh yeah, filter. I guess I could set these in here now. Um, so we're gonna be bringing in your fiber and then your other ones. So which one do I need more of first? Doesn't really matter. Two of the CPU. So let's do CPU first, I guess. So CPU, and then we're gonna do fiber cable, and then we're gonna do demand and demand. And we're going to give you your 10 drones that we have here. Okay. And they're already out going and getting them. Plus, did you leave? Oh, no. Oh, because you have no power. I was like, why didn't you leave, actually? It was a bit weird. There you go. Now those ones will leave, too. So there's the power if you wanted to calculate some of those. Probably there's distance factors and things like that added into it, I'm guessing, but uh, I would be guessing, basically. <laughs> there you go. No, I added... Oh, this is it being derpy. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's uh, the pathfinding being silly. That happens from time to time. Now this won't match up to what they probably want you to have, obviously. So like, you know, to the throughput on these guys, well they're pretty slow anyways, but oh, it takes 10 seconds. Like, so this won't match my reds or blues or anything like that, right? But that's fine. I'm not, uh, that, that's not even my plan, honestly. There you go. My plan is just to make them, there you go. And then we get to run these over. This is the fun part. And this is where I'm going to run out of uh, conveyor belts, actually. Ta-da! So let's go ahead and get ourselves our gears. I wonder one day if they have those. That'd be kind of cool, the ones that you can fill you up your inventory. I could see that being useful. Even just a few items, I can call them and the robots come after me. Like, you know, you click in a thing here, you right click or something or another menu and I just go and, you know, go through a list of everything that's here basically. 
and then I, sh I call in, uh, you know, oh, can you uh, send me, you know, a hundred of these or whatever, and that way I can do it without actually physically going all the way to, you know, a destination, which would be kind of cool, actually. Um, okay, so we were making the conveyor belts, and then I talked about how they should change this great game, and how it's already good, and how they should do all this stuff, because I'm a greedy son of a... Okay. There you go. I will make a promise to you guys. I will get some of the conveyor belts and things done for the next episode. Gives me a chance to buffer this too, right? So... I really own owe it to you guys and myself. But, you know, it's been really good. The crafting in this game is fun. And it's not like, you know, I've basically handicapped myself or anything like that. So, I mean, that's the good news about it. So if I want to go right here... Oh, you want to go right on top of that for that, huh? Well, aren't you a pain in my ass? That's fine. Uh, oh, no, it has to go up higher, though, if you do that. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. Do I have to go over other stuff, though? Oh, yeah, you're going to have to eventually, so... When do I start to go over here? Oh, it'll clip... Please don't tell me it was clipping the actual ceiling of it, because that'd be dumb. How far can I go down? No, you can't go that low. Really? That would work? Okay, that's cool. Obviously, we're going to go over here, though. There you go. And then we'll start dropping it down. There we go. These guys in here. There we have it. All these guys are gonna need power in here. Hey, at least we ended up uh, having room and all that in this area. And then we just gotta get the. Uh, did I jerk pups? Oh no, right over here. It's like wrong uh, structure you're looking at there, son. There you go. And there you go, my friends. Purple is done. Oh, we should probably put our buffer in here, though. Um, yeah, we've been doing them wherever the buffer is, right? Because obviously I want this to keep happening over time. Blah, blah, blah. So let's actually go and snip you here. And we'll put our buffer right here. That'll work. And we'll take you. And we'll take you over here. And then you can go here. And then you can... Well... Doesn't, actually, I should have done this one more over. Let's do that. And I don't know why I put that backwards, but that's fine. As long as we can uh, put our storage right beside it. That should work. Hopefully, it can connect to that one and I don't have to redo it. Damn it! I'll have to redo it now. That's the downside. You have to catch that before you derp up there, so... But we now know how to fix that, at least. Because originally that was like... I thought that was like the worst thing on Earth. I thought, oh, I broke the game. I'll never recover. I don't know what to do in life. And now we know it's not a big deal. And we know how to fix it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we got our purples going here. There we have it. So there you have it, my friends. My purples are going in here. Okay, so obviously I will let this buffer. We're not going to do research yet. Um, actually, if I do any research, how about uh, I'll do my personal research, but nothing else, I guess, because personal upgrades is not a bad idea, like getting this one to level 4, because uh, that is actually 800 more MJ energy. I love that. Um, can't get it higher than that, though. Um, what do you require from the construction? Oh, okay. It requires the Mecha 4 so I can get more fuel going in here. These are back to the uh, gold ones too, so I like that. I'll get the gold on there. There's purple there. Oh, this one here. This is for warping, so I might work on that. Maybe remember to pause it. I was going to do that for another one and I forgot to pause it. So I already told you this. I'll let you know again. Uh, the gravitational... 
wave refraction was something I was supposed to do on camera and I was going to pause it so you see it because it was like my last gold research and I accidentally didn't do that so I just want to let you know whoopsies you know that was my accident this is a gravitational lens and then you take that and you turn it into uh, basically use the cap locks this is like your warp system right here so basically it takes uh, these guys here which is making is that the new ones I just made I think so that's the because uh, the purple ones are the other ones right so yeah these guys that I just made today basically we turn those into uh, warp fuel so we'll be using that over time so it'll be personal warp fuel and stuff like that obviously at first and then eventually we'll get a way to automate it uh, decently, decently more. And then we'll use that on other planets and stuff like that. Because eventually we're going to have to pay for warp fuel for our ships to go to other systems. What I might do is find a decent system and actually do warping between the systems. And then, you know, use that, uh, for example, fuel... Uh, or sorry, use that uh, from that system instead. So, uh, but it means you would have to be able to make all this. So, I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, you find a pl planet with deuterium, or uh, sorry, a gas giant with deuterium, and then you already have that, you know, done basically. But uh, um, either way, we'll we'll figure it out over in the long run, and uh, we'll have fun doing that. So. Uh, either way, yeah, we did tons here. I'll let the research build up a bit. I might do a wee bit of research, but uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.